lunchtime at a salmon feedlot. Those pellets include medication, along with wild fish like herring, mackerel, and anchovies. It takes two to four kilos of wild fish to produce one kilo of farmed salmon. One sixth of all fish caught is used to grow other fish. The production of carnivores, the more you produce, the less fish you have. And farmed salmon routinely escape from their pens, which are only made of netting, and interbreed with wild fish, weakening the wild stocks. Basically what I'm saying is we've proved that interbreeding has occurred in the past between wild and aquaculture fish, and uh, the wild fish have actually lost some of their um, unique alleles that are uh, critical for survival in the wild. Wild stocks have been battered by habitat loss, acid rain, and other factors. But wild salmon are still worth $255 million a year to Atlantic Canada. That's a lot of jobs. A million dollars of revenue in the wild fishery produces 30 jobs, while a million dollars of revenue in net pen aquaculture produces just 6.7 jobs. Yet the aquaculture industry has received five times more funding than any wild fishery organization. Wild salmon are a priceless part of our natural heritage of biodiversity. Why can't our governments count the things that really count? See our full-length film at salmonwars.com.